Did you know that there are three versions out there of this Akara Dorenvino sensor? And today we will be looking at the latest version that is available from Akara. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Since I don't have a Patreon account, I really would like to thank all the members who have joined and become my YouTube channel members. Thank you very much for all of your support. And also thanks to everybody who watched, liked or subscribed to my channel. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by becoming a YouTube channel member by clicking the join button down below. And now, let's get started with today's video on the Akara Doren window sensor. First disclaimer, this Akara E1 latest version of Doren window sensor has been sent to me free of charge by Banggood to record video on it and of course to post affiliated link down in the description of the video so it may help the sales. Of course, you do not have to use affiliate links, but if you do use affiliate links, those do provide a small percentage or small income to the channel. And no, they do not cost you anything more than the normal standard price you would pay on Banggood anyway. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, there are three versions or three releases of this sensor. And unfortunately, I did learn this the hard way. The only previous door and video sensor I'm using and has been installed at my front door for a long, long, long time is the original or version 11. And this is the one here and the latest version is version 14. The biggest difference between the version 11, 12, 13 that I have never seen in any shop before, and the 14 is that the version 11 had also temperature values, which later versions do not have. But there is also one significant change which you have to be aware of, and if you're not aware of that, you may have problem with adding this sensor to your network. Version 14 of the Akara Dorian window sensor does require you to have specific firmware. For CC2530 or 2531, you have to have a version from the 15th of November 2021. Or for the CC1352 or CC2652, this is the version from 14th of November 2021. I will be posting a link to this ZigBee2MQTT documentation page where you will find links to those firmwares. So yeah, when those door and window sensors arrived, I tried to pair them and it didn't work. Yeah, you could pair them, but it simply didn't work. So I started digging and I found out that yes, you have to upgrade the firmware, which was also great because the firmware was released just days before I received my door and window sensor, which means also I have them for more than three months. In terms of connectivity, Akara officially says that you need Akara Hub for this device to be operated or connected to something. In my case, I have been using IKEA lights, which have proven to be great routers for any Akara sensor, meaning the 11 version, this 14 version, but also various other temperature humidity sensors, push buttons, etc. I didn't know that some other devices that are also advertised as routers they do not support Akara and unfortunately Akara will try to connect only to the coordinator. And that can be a problem because we only usually have one coordinator and it's located somewhere where our home assistant is. So if the device is out of range, you will have problem with the connectivity of the device. So no, it's not the problem of the coordinator, it's not the problem of the Akara, simply those devices were not meant to be used with the other networks, which is strange because they are Zigbee devices. So what could you potentially do to solve this? Couple of weeks ago, I released video on Sonoff, Sonoff Zigbee 3.0 USB dongle plus. And one day somebody on my Discord server asked, is it possible to connect Akara devices to Sonoff router, which I flashed this stick with, tried and it worked. Which means that if you are having issues with Akara sensors, you can then of course go buy one of two of those Sonoff devices and I will be leaving a link up here on how to flash them either via the Linux or the Windows, flash the router version as I said and you are good to go. You will have extended network and probably you will not have 
any more issues with the Akara sensors. What do those sensors expose? Actually, we only need one thing since they do not provide any more temperature readings. And this is the contact. This is the binary sensor telling us when it's closed, it's true, when it's open, it's false. And we will be using this in Home Assistant to create automations. How easy it is to add this device in a Home Assistant. If you want to add this Akara device, click on Permit Join, press and hold the button down here, wait for the blue light to come up. I would also recommend that every now and then you also press this button here to keep the device awake, because it needs to be awake to finish the pairing process. As you can see, the device is here, it's been added, and when the process is finished, we will see the device in the Zigbee to MQTT. For ZHA, the process is similar. The question is for what you can use this door and window sensor. Yes, besides doors and windows, there are tons of other possibilities. I have it on my front door. Let's look at the automation that I'm using for my front door. And this is my automation. I'm using state platform with two different trigger IDs. One is called open, and this is triggered when the door is simply open, but I do not want to have it triggered every time, so later on I will have additional conditions. And the second trigger ID is this called open5, which is checking when the front door has changed from state off to on, meaning the door has been open for 5 minutes. Don't worry, I will be also posting a link to this in the description of the video. So, if you want to copy the code, you can simply copy it from the URL in the description of this video. There is a condition, we are checking it against the open trigger. But then also I am checking my binary sensor, this is the binary counter, if there is anybody home or not. If there is nobody at home, I then start a little a sequence. First thing is I use my Notify engine, which is a script I use to send notification to various platforms and people. And then I send message to whole family with title front door and the motion apartment, no family member is home. I also send it to my telegram. Group is security, tag is emergency, color is red and sticky is true. Those two attributes are great if you are using companion app and Android. After the message has been sent, I changed volume on the two media players to volume 0.7 which is 70%, and then use Google Translate or Google TTS service to push the notification intruder alert. But what if other trigger ID is triggered? Then I use a different part of the automation. And this part is also pushing message to family, saying front door and then front door is open, outside temperature is, and I pull the temperature from my external Akara temperature sensor also push to my telegram bot. Group is home, tag is warning, importance default, I use this time yellow instead of red, and it's not sticky anymore. Of course, I once again set the volume to speakers, but a bit lower, 60%, and I push text-to-speech, Google text-to-speech notification saying front door is open. There are of course tons and tons of ways on how you can automate this sensor. You can, for example, have distinction if this is on your door or window, that it doesn't care if the door or window was open for whatever time, unless you get notification that it also is starting to rain. So if the rain starts, it will notify you, hey, the rain is starting, close your windows. Okay, but where else can you use this door and window sensor? pretty much on anything that can be opened or closed. You can use it on boxes, for example, box where you keep your jewelry. Anytime the box is open, you will get notification. You can also put it in a cupboard where you keep your liquor. And then in automation, check if the parents are out and the kids are in and send the notification, hey kids, stop drinking liquor. And one last idea on how to use this sensor. I live with three girls, my wife and two daughters. Maybe they will appreciate if I put it in a use in a toilet and get notified if I leave the toilet seat up. I don't want to oversell Akara sensors, but they are definitely great devices and very power efficient. 
I still have some sensors that are 2 plus years and working on the original batteries. My door and window sensor has lived through two doors. So yeah, I had to move it from the old door to the new door. Door didn't survive, but the sensor did. If you think of any great way for what to use also door and window sensor, please drop me a line down in the comment section below. Or better yet, go to the Zigbee channel on my Discord server. If you did find this video interesting and useful, please give me a thumbs up. It means not just a lot to me, but it also helps with the YouTube algorithms. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future video updates and of course notified of the streams. And I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye. Have fun.